The plan was not just to send us away so that we could be proven, but to send us away so that we could be improved. The atonement not only offered a way back, but a way to come back better. It not only offered a way to go home, but it offered a way to feel at home there. Again, I've shared before that my view of the final judgment has evolved. Because I used to see the final judgment as this moment where Jesus would be standing there with a clipboard, and I'd be across the room, and he'd look at his clipboard, and he'd say, Oh, shoot. <laughs> Brad. I mean, you missed it. Two points. Two <laughs> points. Two points. Brad, begging the Savior, please, look at the essay question one more time. <laughs> I mean, there's got to be a way to squeeze two points out of that essay question. But the more, the older I get, the more I understand Christ's character, and the more I understand this plan of redemption, now there's a word with multi-meanings, the more I see that, the more I recognize that the final judgment won't play out like that. You know? It won't be me begging Jesus, let me in, let me in. If anybody's going to be begging on that occasion, I think it will be Christ. Begging unrepentant sinners, please use my atonement, not just to be cleansed, so you qualify to stay, but to be changed, so that you desire to stay, so that you feel comfortable here.